Hi, let's learn a few useful tips to deliver your slides like a pro. The first tip is use subtitles. Many presenters are not aware that they have the option to use live subtitles when they are presenting their slides. This feature is especially useful when you want to present online or when you feel that your audience doesn't understand your language that well. There are two things you require to use live subtitles while presenting your slides in PowerPoint. They are First, you need a clear sound without background noise, which means it is essential that you plug in your microphone while presenting your slides. The second requirement is you need a good internet connection. That is because this generation of live subtitles and live translation happens on the cloud, so you require a good internet connection. First, how do you use subtitles? Let us say I want to present this slide which talks about synergy between two elements like this. Now I want to have subtitles for the slide. All I need to do is to right click on the slide while being on the slideshow and go to this option called start subtitles. Now if you try to do it and you are not able to see the option called start subtitles it could be because of two reasons. One you don't have a microphone plugged into your computer. Two, even if you do plug in your microphone, you need to close PowerPoint and then open it again so the settings change and you'd be able to get this option. Now, once you are done, you can click on Start Subtitles option and you will see the subtitles being shown at the bottom. Let us see this. Now, whatever I talk will have live subtitles happening. Now, see how accurate the subtitling is, which is really nice. Let me hit Escape button. Now let me show you another very interesting option here and that is you can actually choose the language to translate your text to. For example, if I feel that my audience is more comfortable with Hindi than in English, then I can deliver my slides in English and let PowerPoint do the translation live so the audience can read the subtitles and understand my message. Let me show you how that is done. Right click, go to subtitle settings and go to more settings option. And here I have the option for spoken language. In this case, I'm going to be talking in English and subtitle language will be in Hindi. So let me go here and you can see that we have a whole bunch of options available for us to do the translation. Now let me choose Hindi and let me say, okay. Now watch what happens when I say start subtitles and see how accurately the translation is done in Hindi live by PowerPoint. So let us right click, go to subtitles. Now I'm going to talk in English and I'm going to expect PowerPoint to do the translation in Hindi. <laughs> Wasn't that accurate? That is the power of using subtitles in PowerPoint. The next step to deliver your slides like a pro is to use B or W keys while being on the slideshow. Now what does B key do? When you are in the slideshow, when you hit the B key on your keyboard, the slide goes blank. To revive the slide, you just need to hit the escape button and your slide is back again. Now when would you use B key option while presenting? Let us say you have a meeting going on and you notice that your audience is involved in side chat and conversations. You want them to give their attention back to you and to your slides. Then you use the trick of hitting the B key and then you go silent. When you do that, you interrupt two of their thought patterns. First, you interrupt the visual thought pattern. Usually your audience is used to seeing the screen bright and white. Now when you hit B, suddenly that light is off and that would make them stop whatever they were doing and pay attention to you. The second pattern interrupt is auditory pattern interrupt. While the presentation is on, they are used to listening to your voice. Now suddenly when you go silent while having the screen blank, then there is this break in pattern of the auditory inputs as well. And that will also force them to stop whatever they were doing and pay attention to you. I use that regularly and it works like a charm. The third tip is to use W. Just like the B key on your keyboard, W also makes your screen go blank. Only that this time the screen will be white in color. So let me hit W and you see that my screen is now white. When will you use this option? You use this option to use your slide as your whiteboard. That brings us to the next tip, which is 
to use a pen while presenting. Now look at this, I can right click, go to pointer options and use pen and I can draw whatever I want and I would be able to explain pretty nicely and this will definitely hold your audience's attention because there is something being created live in their presence. So if you are a maths teacher and you want to solve a problem, you can use this option. If you are a business presenter, you can explain your process while drawing a diagram live in front of them. This option of hitting W and making your screen go white can be helpful in n number of ways. Now, when it comes to using the pen mode, it is not necessary that your screen needs to be totally white for you to write on the screen. You can of course use your pen mode to add your own annotation to whatever that is presented. For example, let me present this slide. Of course, the examples that I'm showing you are all templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Let us say I want to talk about three interrelated factors. This is one, this is the second, and this is the third. And now I have something to add here and I want to write my notes here. I can do that using my pen tool. Now to use your pen tool, you just need to use the shortcut called Control P and immediately your cursor turns into a pen. Now you can write your notes here. You can write either using your mouse and if you want more convenience, you can of course have a tablet attached to your computer and you can use the pen tablet option to write quite nicely on your screen. Now after you write your text on the screen, when you hit escape, you will get this dialog box which asks you whether you want to keep your ink annotations or not. You can say keep and PowerPoint will remember these annotations and later if you want you can always delete them. Let us say I want to say keep and you can see that the annotation is remembered. So if I want to delete it later I can always select it and I can hit delete and that will be removed. Now, while we are talking about the screen annotation options, we need to remember that one of the best options available in PowerPoint to draw the viewer's attention is the use of laser pointer. Let me show you how that pointer works. Now, first let me present this slide. As you can see, there are four quadrants. On a click, we have a hand that comes and draws the viewer's attention to the explanation for each of the quadrants like this. And once I have all this presentation done, I remember something to present and I want the viewer's attention to somewhere over here. Now to do that, all I need to do is to hit the shortcut called Control L and my cursor will now turn into a laser pointer. Can you see here? It is far easier for me to point to the specific area of the slide using this option. I find this option to be far more convenient than even physical laser pointers some of the times. That is because if you have a laser pointer and when you want to point to any particular item from a distance, you would see that it is not always that easy to point to a specific area. Second, when your hands are a bit shaky, you will notice that jitter on the screen and that doesn't really give a good impression. However, when you go to your laptop and use this option of hitting Control L and converting your cursor into a laser pointer, you have far better control of the situation and you can present like a king. Continuing along the same line, we have seen how to use the pen tool and also the laser pointer tool. Now there is this option available in PowerPoint that allows you to highlight certain text or a certain area of your slide using the highlighter option. First, let me present this slide. Here, I want to draw the viewer's attention to one particular thing and here is the text associated with it. Now, I want to highlight these two words here. How do I do it? Right click, go to pointer options and here I have highlighter. I can use the highlighter to point like this and you can see that it is very clearly evident that I am highlighting these words to emphasize. This option is especially useful when you want to present a definition or a testimonial and you want to highlight certain areas or certain words in the testimonial. This option is quite useful when you want to highlight certain part of an image. For example, take a look at this image here and I want to highlight this window. I can do so quite nicely like this. So that is the power of using highlighter option in PowerPoint. Now the last tip is to present your images using the zoom in option. Many presenters are not aware that when they present a technical diagram like this, it is possible for them to zoom into specific areas of the slide while being on the slideshow. All you need to do for that is to right click on this and go to the zoom in option. And now you can see that I have this option to zoom into any specific area. 
For example, if I want to zoom into this area, I can move my cursor here and you can see this rectangle that shows that this is the area that is going to be zoomed into. I can click and here I have the zoomed in version. Once I am zoomed in, I can even pan across like this. Now, once you've finished zooming in and presenting your information, you can of course hit the escape and that will bring you to the normal view. While all the tips that I shared with you are quite useful to present your slides in a better way, there is one tip that is more important than all the other tips that I had shared with you so far. And that tip is to learn how to use presenter view the right way. I've already created two videos on this. The first one is this, which shows how to use presenter view in PowerPoint to present your slides like a pro. I will leave a link to this video in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. There is another useful video called how to see speaker notes while presenting on Zoom. And this again is quite useful and quite popular. I will leave a link to this video as well in the description box below the video. These two videos will help you understand the right way to present your slides in a powerful way so you engage your audience from start to finish. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.